Hello, Gemini. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and do your love reading for May 2020. This is usually looking at the person that you have in mind, what's going on with them, what are their feelings, and so on. First, we're going to go ahead and ask from the Romance Angel deck cards. Big five cards here. What do you need to know regarding this connection for May 2020? What are the energies? What are the messages here for you, Gemini, regarding the person that you have in mind? One more. Keep an open mind and we have retreat. Let's see. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Uh, Venus is in your sign, it's going to go retrograde. And also the North Node is going to go in Gemini on May 5th, codependency. So when I uh, read that word flirt, it reminded me of the Gemini energy. It says, pay attention to the red flags, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And there again, the playfulness. Now, with again, with the free yourself, for those that know about the karmic nodes here, the south node and the north node, I feel like this is very important, again, because the north node is going to be in Gemini. We have let your friends help you, and we have children. Your love life is being affected by children for some of you here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and look at how they're feeling towards you, actions towards you, how they view you. We will see what they're having a challenge now when it comes to the connection with you. What they love best about you. We will see their intentions when it comes to this connection, their true intentions. What they don't love best about you. What they would like to confess that they're not telling you, they're not opening up, confession time. Where are you both mutually at currently? And the best possible outcomes here or possibilities regarding the two of you for May 2020. So concentrating the energies on May 2020. Of course, it can be any time. All right, so Gemini, the person that they have in mind, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or you have the Gemini signature. This may resonate with you. One more. The Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. I, I had the Page of Swords with Taurus too like someone uh and the page of cups okay so there's love here there's watching keeping tabs wow the two of cups and the two of pentacles so someone is juggling this situation remember that pay uh, i'm sorry pay, pay attention to the red flags but also free yourself okay so the first card is going to be their feelings towards you wow mars in scorpio they're feeling loss regret loss sadness something happened here and they're holding on always when i see the five of cups of course i always think that not only it's a past situation but someone cannot get over this sadness what got spilled here before they are at loss they regret the one thing for sure that they regret here whatever happened with you they're still holding on what about their actions wow ego driven i always see the strength here though again limiting someone is yearning passion very passionately here as well i don't see this as action though when it comes you know to someone coming forward i just see it longing yearning trying to be strong trying to limit that passion can be a little bit arrogant leo energy there there's a lot of pride how they view you, hermit mode, isolated. That's how they view you. And that's maybe that's why they have that emotional, you have turned your back, you are on your way here, doing your own thing, solitude, ghosting for some of you here. What is the challenge? Oh my goodness. I did the monthly readings for you guys where we had endings and beginnings. And by the way, I want to thank you. You guys were my most viewed um, for, for last um, for the month of May, monthly May. So thank you so much. Um, the three of swords, unless for some of you were talking, of course, the usual three party. But overall here, there's been pain and there's been hurt and there's been separation. And 
that's why they have the strength card again it's it's a situation if they're the ones here that uh, did the hurting whoever is watching again i will understand why that strength card is needed again someone needs to find the courage here as well to come forward but the situation is the heartbreak it is a separation remember they see you here in the hermit mode as well all right so what they love best about you the ten of pentacles uh, again this to me is someone that is very grounded for some of you it can be that uh, again you work hard uh, you have a good life. Uh, it's all about building security, prosperity here. Family-oriented person. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is someone that is very prosperous. And this is what they love best about you. You are a person of structure here and wealth. And again, hardworking, commitment type of situation. What are their intentions? Wow, look at this. This is what they like best about you. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. The best tens here. Um, Ten of Cups, they, uh, ten, of, <laughs> 10 of Cups, it's uh, the emotional bliss, the satisfaction, happy life. This is what they want as well. So to me, this being the true intentions is that they actually, they do love you here. Or again, they believe you are the one. They believe that uh, this is what I've dreamed, this is what I want. Whatever this separation and emotional loss, I don't think they can get over you here, uh, Gemini. You know, uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, they know you are the one here. What they don't love best about you? We have the Empress energy. Hmm. And I will say there's nothing wrong with the Empress not to love best about you, but we have to look at it in, in a kind of reversal way because it's, it's in a challenging position. The Empress is always about nurturing, loving, motherly here. Uh, so this is something, again, that they find you lacking nurturing towards them. Or again, there's something else here that bothers them. For some of you, it can be the mother figure here as well. I can see, for, for again, I will not see that they see you as a selfish person because to me, nothing tells me here that there's something selfish about you. So again, with Emirates, I feel like right now, they cannot have you. Remember, we did have this children situation going on here. The love life is being uh, affected by children and with imprints. I feel like regarding abundance here in a situation. We will see when we clarify why. All right, so what they would like to confess. Five of Swords. Oh, my goodness. I see the Five of Swords that someone has been defeated, but they're not giving up. Again, remember the Strength card. This is Venus in Aquarius. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of um, hidden motives here. Conflicted information. Guilt can be very much with the Five of Swords. Though, again, I, I feel like they, they're willing to do anything here. Anything in order to get what they want. That's, that's a Five of Swords. This person is willing to do anything here. Where are you both at? You are. You have both have the hangman energy. Very idealistic. The hangman. He is uh, always is that Neptunian energy. We're talking about uh, daydreaming here, trying to look at different way. Idealism about love. Again, in suspension here when it comes to each other, not giving up. I feel like it's again that energy when is going to happen, waiting and seeing when. The Three of Pentacles is the best possible outcome. It's collaboration here with the Three of Pentacles. Some of you, again, still that third situation, but compromising, finding ways to come in together. Some of you, maybe because you're working uh, together as well here with the Three of Pentacles. But I see teamwork, alliance, starting here long term. I like it because it tells me, again, that there's a potential for long term for you guys here to make it happen. There is the possibility. We have two fives with the five of cups and the five of swords. So again, I feel like there's some type of loss, guilt, even resentment a little bit. There's pride and love at the same time. So we're going to see, look, the strength card again here. Yeah, yeah. They, they really are trying very hard here to kind of keep their pride, but I think they can't. 
So tell me about the Five of Swords. Why, I mean Five of Swords, Five of Cups here. Why are they feeling the Five of Cups towards you? Why are they feeling the Five of Cups towards you? One more. Hierophant. Wow. Taurus energy. With a higher friend, again, this we are talking about some marriage commitment. Uh, for some of you, it may be because a higher friend has a certain type of energy of uh, when it comes to culture, beliefs, religion, differences in here. Or again, we could not be together because of this situation. And this is what they're holding. I don't think it's something that you did here or they did, especially looking at the higher friend, which is very spiritual as well, faith type of energy. But I feel like in this situation, because of again marriage or um, family situation here or traditions is that you know they're still kind of feeling that loss other people or other situation or society rules got in the way here between the two of you okay so what is the strength card here tell me about their actions with the strength card one more Eight of Wands. Okay, so they want to come impulsively here. It's Mercury in Sagittarius. Mercury in Sag Sagittarius is going to be very direct. Uh, again, communication, action. It takes a certain situation of strength, again, and power here. They don't want to be failing. Remember, the Five of Swords is what they have that they want, want to confess. So definitely, though, they, they are kind of finding the courage to talk, to communicate, to come forward. They do see you, though, as the hermit. That's how they view you. Six of Cups, Memories, Sun in Scorpio as well. I feel like uh, you turn your back here, or again, you're in isolation when it comes to, to this energy. Tell me about the hermit here. Oh my God, did this want Emperor energy? Hmm. The Emperor energy, we're talking about power struggle as well. Control, remember that free yourself energy. So you're trying here to find your way, your foundation. Tell me about the Hermit. One more. Yeah, you are guarded. Nine of Wands. You are guarded. That's how they see you. I, I feel like they cannot reach you in a way here. It's like they're looking from afar type of situation. Why the Three of Swords is a challenge. Look, the Two of Cups and the Justice here. Wow. We're talking about a union, the right time in balance, right things. Some of you, again, regarding a, a divorce here. Tell me about the Three of Swords. One more. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is not budging here. I feel like someone holding back. Again, we're talking about foundation, security, safety, family. So this is, again, the, as a challenge here that is coming. Someone is, is not showing their vulnerable side as well with the Four of Pentacles, putting boundaries, keeping to themselves. They love the Ten of Pentacles about you. Let's see, what is the Ten of Pentacles? Which is very good, again. Tells me that they see you as someone that they can commit, they have family with. One more. Chariot. You are determined here again to bring prosperity uh, to, your, to yourself here, but even when it comes to them, Chariot is always about, again, another type of courage card here. This is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to win. But again, your eyes are always here on that family, on that commitment and on wealth and prosperity. And this is, you are a determined person here. You, you make your way when it comes to even, you know, working hard and making things happen. And this is what they love best. Look, the four of wands here. Again, we're talking about success when it comes to roots, security. But at the same time, remember, they're, they're having a hard time with the three of swords and the four of pentacles there. What their true intentions are, 
It's Ten of Cups. I feel like they want you, but they cannot have you. That's, that's what I'm getting here. It's like you are this unreachable dream here. What is the Ten of Cups? What is the Ten of Cups? One more. Ooh, Death card, Scorpio energy. You see, as I said, some of you may be dealing with the Scorpio. As I said, they cannot have you. It's not an ending transformation. Again, I don't know what happened here that they could not get to the next level here or again family but they're hoping that things are going to regenerate with the death card always we're talking about transformation here a comeback to happy times so why is the empress is the empress this is what they do not like what is this empress What was that? Ooh, tower. Look, the nine of cups and a wish fulfillment. Mars energy. We're talking um, Scorpio again or Aries. Whose foundation or beliefs? Again, remember, it may be about that a sudden here. For some of you, it can be a sudden pregnancy as well. But uh, with the children here or a mother figure clinging. I feel like with the tower, it's kind of someone's beliefs or foundation here changing. Uh, we have the planet of love, Venus and Mars energy, uh, masculine uh, and feminine energy here. With Venus, again, it's always the type of uh, nurturing, kindness, uh, fertility. And then Mars is kind of very sexual energy. So again, someone here is holding back. Or there's been some type of change when it comes to someone's um, mother here or how they express love. How they open up. I keep going because we got that energy here. So this is what they don't like. I feel like someone is not ready here to open up and express themselves. So what is the five of swords? This is what they would like to confess. They're having conflicted type of energy, but they don't want to give up. What is the Five of Swords? One more. Oh my goodness, they're burdened. They're burdened, they're overwhelmed. I keep getting the blame and the guilt though. Someone is caring more than, uh, than they should or they have. And again, they feel, if this person here, Gemini, did something here, or my cross watchers, please reverse the roles. I feel like they, again, they've been keeping this torch or... Uh, this kind of blame for a long time for others here is again in the name of love I'm ready here to do anything even if I have to carry a lot to the point of um, feeling exhausted they are conflicted though and I'm getting that exhaustion to my limits energy both of you have the hangman so to me this is that both of you are waiting in suspension there when it comes to each other it's not over The hangman, please. One more. Yep, the five of swords. There's been a lot of conflict uh, information here, resentment, provocation um, going on. And you are, uh, I always see the five of swords as well here when it comes to what do I uh, what do I need to use? How do I need to use the information that is available to me? Kind of dropping hints, but not doing much. The Three of Pentacles, though, tells me again a potential here for compromise and alliance and working together. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles here, please. One more. Knight of Swords, okay, communication on how to co uh, collaborate, how to make things uh, happen here. So I feel like there's a potential for you guys to find common ground with each other. 
Okay, guys, uh, for those that are interested in the extended, we will go a little bit deeper and we will do a, a mirroring spread. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for your support. Also, if you would like a personal reading, please see the description box below. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.